What's up guys, what's up guys, what's up guys? I know this is really different than what I'm normally doing and sitting in my room, but today we are going to organize my bookshelves. So as you can see from behind me, all of my books are out of my room right now. Um, I just needed to get them out of the space in order to put them back in the space if that makes any sense. So, um, yeah, it, it's bad, but on the plus side, all good stuff comes to those who get their butt up and work. So, um, this baby is completely cleared as well as the shelves on this side, ignore my iPad. So what I'm gonna do is bring all of the books in the room, put them on the floor, organize them by color, and put them away. So what I did wrong previously was that I did this case by color and then this one by height. But this time around, I am going to do all of them by color, color. which is gonna be a little hard because I have sets, like book sets, that are, I think, different colors. So I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, for example, I have Crazy Rich Asians here in a set, but they're all different colors. So I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Um, but what I do need to do is organize all of the books. We will see how that goes. Hey, babe. Okay, now, we got all the books in the room. Not even a lot, honestly, I look at other booktubers and I'm like, I ain't got nothing on them. <clears throat> Hold on, okay. So, I'm on the floor. Now we have, oh, I'm sweaty, okay. Now, we have all of the books in my room now and Honestly, I don't think I have a lot of books. Um, I look at other uh, booktubers and I'm like, they got way more than me. Hold on, let me fix this angle. There we go. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so, I was able to get all of the books in the room. And honestly, looking at it now, I don't think I have a lot of books. I look at other book tubers and book Instagram accounts and they have way more than me um so yeah um I don't think I have a lot of books um I honestly don't even know how many I have mostly because I'm always loaning books out so I never really have all of my books in the same place for me to count them all um so yeah this is my book collection so check it out so starting from here, we got a variety of books, to be honest. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna sit this here. I'm gonna sit this on here so we can talk about my first topic. So today is not just gonna be about me organizing my bookshelves, it's going to, okay, let's see if I can find a place for the books. So, Oh, that works. Um, so today's not just going to be about me organizing my bookshelves. It's also going to be about a few topics that I've been talking about in my bookstagram. And I just felt like talking. So let's get into that. Um, before I do anything, I want to 
kind of go over a few different things i don't know if you guys can hear my heater like my mom likes to not turn the heat on in the house so i have like my, my little electric one and it does pack a little noise so sorry if you're noticing the noise actually let me turn that off okay so in the process of getting my room all cleaned and organized of course my bookcases were one of them um normally i do them by color but that's been difficult to keep up with a part of me wants to do it by size but that doesn't look anything aesthetically pleasing as i would hope um then i have these books that are multicolored, so this is gonna be interesting to say the least um but yeah let's go ahead and let's talk so starting with my instagram if you're following me on instagram you already kind of know the topic but black history month big youtubers small youtubers all shapes and sizes and colors should be celebrating black history month <sighs> yeah exhale and then inhale again and here's why one although you may not be black or african-american or african descent you as a person in wherever in the world has benefited off of inventions stories creation culture that is black so that is why not just being a black person but that just that i feel like deserves respect and celebration so that's one so regardless if you're a black or not acknowledge that and acknowledge the effing greatness that has been bestowed upon the world by black people that's something you can't deny facts is facts black people have created so much whether it be youtube content to the stoplight black people have done it all including billions of ways to use peanuts aka peanut butter i love peanut butter but my point is that alone you should pay homage and respect to african americans african descent black culture just black you just should respect it um so that's my thought process around it and that's what my approach is reflecting um another thing that i wanted to address is the fact that i see a lot of people acknowledging valentine's day a made-up holiday that doesn't really have anything to do with anything other than to sell you things and don't get me wrong I like the thought of Valentine's Day just another day for me to share love with my fiance with my family with my friends love is important but I think Black History Month is equally if not more important than that um, I gotta tell y'all a story here we go so i was on my instagram and of course everyone's doing their tbr for february everybody's doing one and i am expecting to see hella black shit okay just to be frank hella black shit and i wasn't and don't get me wrong i expect that from black youtubers black influencers black instagram accounts i get that i expect that but i also have that expectations for others and again referring to my previous point so when i addressed it because of course i'm not just gonna be like oh they're not posting and not say anything because that makes me a part of the problem and i'm a solution focused person i i addressed it to multiple people accounts youtubers i don't give a damn who you are i addressed it and it's not even like you should be doing this my question was have you noticed and if not here you go an opportunity to correct your behavior and if you have please explain to me why because i'm open i can talk we're human people have their own set points and some found it to be very refreshing to hear a calm rational conversation about it because they didn't acknowledge their ignorance about it which was super cool like i felt like that's what we need to do in order to get us forward as a people just understand each other and have those conversations not making excuses 
just having those conversations because I don't know you know you don't know who what nobody know and being a person who is in an interracial relationship I find myself understanding that a lot of these things aren't taught so it's my responsibility to educate to identify to break it down to be like hey babe look at this so I don't take my content though sorry my camera overheated so like i was saying i don't take my point of view as the only point of view i'm black i'm in rich in greatness but i feel that other other cultures weren't taught a lot of the things that i'm knowledgeable about about my culture isn't something that i was taught in school so i can't necessarily be upset with other cultures who aren't um so cultures are race I always get the two mixed up. People always like, you need to learn the difference. I'm still working on learning the difference. But my point being is people don't always have that understanding or education. And most of the time when topic of race or racism or diversity comes up, it's immediately making them feel like we're attacking. Okay. So when I when I realize every conversation that I have about it with other cultures outside of minorities, they in initially get defensive. Like, oh, you're calling me racist. I'm not racist. I love you. This is this. But I think what we are all missing is just like listening and approaching it from an, an understanding of like a child. Like, honestly, if I can't explain it to my nephew and he understands it, I got to redo it. And it's not to say anyone's stupid or pretend like people are getting away with something. Because some, some are very knowledgeable and they just choose to do the shit that they do. But for those who aren't, who are genuinely trying, it could be difficult. Sorry, I'm like moving the books around because my legs are getting stiff. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> okay I'm totally like doing this on top of some books right now but um, some might be unaware unaware and I'm learning to communicate that from a perspective of not judging just helping to educate um, but back to my Instagram story. So I basically approached multiple people in regards to it and some gave me positive feedback while some was saying things like, oh, I don't have to post or read black books. And I quote, I don't have to post or read about black books to love black people. My, black, my boyfriend's black. And I thought that was the most ignorant shit I've heard in a very long time. So, um, I was a little messy, <laughs> sip tea, but <laughs> I was a little messy. Like just because you have a black boyfriend does not mean you support um, black artistry or black authors or or just the economics of black people. Like that doesn't mean you support it. That just means you love someone who's a difference to you. Because if you, for me, if you love a person, you love everything that comes with them. And that sometimes means relearning and unlearning so that was some ignorant ass shit i'm gonna just put that out there but moving on so um i basically am just like not for none when it comes down to these big youtubers little youtubers instagrammers who are all about promoting artists and promoting books but they're not promoting black people black books black authors black characters and i'm, I'm not talking about that watered down stereotypical black authors or stereotypical black characters or the black characters that's wrote by white people or white people like what like ugh. Ugh, I'm sorry, I irritated myself. My point is, I want black people to have their stories, tell them the way that they are, the way they get them, the way they receive them, and then I want other races to support. Yeah, that that made sense. Y'all know what I'm getting at. Um, sorry, my hair is still tight, so. Um, what else? In addition to that, um... I'm writing a book and this has nothing to do with the black history stuff but it definitely made me want to write a book because I, I think I was like one on this rant where I needed to know more about like black I know what it was I wanted to read a book 
from an, a black American perspective, but like some witchy tendencies. So when I went on my search to find that, a lot of it was African descent. And let's be clear, African experience in black America or black American experiences are two different things. So let's be clear, those are not the same, which a lot of people had it twisted. So let me clarify, <laughs> black culture in America is a lot different than the black experience in Africa or Nigeria or to be more specific Nigeria or Libya something like that it's definitely different so I wanted to read a book about the African American experience but a little twist to it with some magic um couldn't find it um the ones that I did find eh eh so I'm gonna write one uh this past week and today's, I think, February 7th or 8th. I don't know. But this past week, I was able to start mine. I wrote my first chapter, sent it off to an editor to read, and I got um, some, some good points back. So it was really nice to hear. So yeah, those are just a few things that I wanted to chat about. Um, another one is just like diversity. Let, let, uh, let's... Eh. Okay, so let's chat about diversity. So diversity on YouTube has always been an issue. It's going to always be an issue because I don't think we have enough minorities representing that company. That's just me. Um, people are blind to what they don't know. And most of what people know is from experience. Um, yes, there are a few that are up there and big and well known. But even those I feel like have a different experience than what I personally am looking for. I need someone like me who will s about it, but still like genuine and honest and loving and caring. Like, I know I'm picky. Who am I to like dictate who a person is, but whatever. <laughs> but I feel that the lack of diversity is a huge controversy. It's going to always be a huge controversy because as soon as you say diversity or minority or blacks, Hispanic, whatever the hell, here comes dilly willy blind to the blind to the world because they have that privilege here they come with there's diversity i have this one friend or oh i have this one account i follow and it's like it's billions of people on youtube bro what are you talking about like help me understand and when you come from a place of like understanding they don't know how to talk about it so now it's a back and forth thing and I really don't get into that because again I am a solution focused person if you're gonna come at me I need facts and receipts and I need to know what store and I need the zip code so come for me honey this ain't what you want okay <laughs> but my point is here comes those who want to remain ignorant because it's easy because when you ignore the issues it is easy to believe that the world is better that people are better and honestly the best quote i think it came from dl hughley or maybe it was j cole i don't know um he said to be a woke black person in america raised in america you're always angry because you don't have the choice to decide whether or not you want to acknowledge things because it's happening to you you'll be a fool to be like oh the cops keep shooting my people that's okay. I mean, they shot, they shot a white person yesterday. I guess it evens out. The world's better now. It's like, no, it doesn't work that way. And I'm sorry. I'm seriously going on a tangent and a rant. Um, I apologize. I did not mean to do that. But yes, YouTube is seriously having an issue with diversity in general, not just in the booktube world. Um, it's just diversity in general. And honestly, unless we get more people hired a YouTube who comes from the minority background honestly I don't see a lot of change happening um so yeah that's just my point even those who are big YouTubers or booktubers who are black or mixed because those are the ones they love the most the mixed one it's like oh they're mixed so they can represent black but they're not 100% black so we can get away with this one and it's not even no hater tip it's just what it is like facts again I'm all about the facts people um what else and it, it just irritates me because once they get their platform 
they don't necessarily speak for the people a lot of people talk about like oh i want this i want that because they see these YouTubers growing and being different than what they originally started. Like, honestly, I just don't see YouTubers being relatable anymore. That's just me. And I'm not seeing a lot of black people being super successful on YouTube. And those who are super successful, they don't help pull up other people up. They just get successful and keep it moving because they know what made them what's going to keep them going, what's going to make them relatable. But their fan bases are the same people that they ignore. Don't, don't even get me started, y'all, okay? Um, but yeah, y'all, y'all know if I ever make it, that's why I make sure every comment, every DM, every like, every, every single thing, I am showing my support. I'm responding. I'm listening. I'm, I'm, I'm there. I'm invested because books saved me from like boredom but also just like made me feel important and made me realize like how much of people's stories get untold okay and then last but not least my last piece of my rant which isn't really a rant someone had the nerve to say oh well you're this happy about black history months are you going to address um what was it hispanic heritage month or chinese new year or something they were just trying to be ignorant as do they were just trying to be ignorant and i was like absolutely absolutely like what do you mean this doesn't go just oh because i'm black i'm gonna support black people and i'm gonna stand up for black people no from latina to latinx to japan i don't give a damn like that's the problem like they want to nitpick to make trying to make us divide it and it's like no bro it doesn't work that way it doesn't go that way like at all son what's up and they're like, and that was a booktuber who made that comment by the way and all my like people who follow me on instagram are like who is it who is that person and the reason that i won't put them on blast is because that's going to give them attention that's going to get more people on their page whether it's negative or positive comments them comments them views are still going to get them some money it's still going to push them forward so i refuse to say their name to get them that type of attention because that's not my goal i'm not even shifty like that and why would i put you in a position to make more money and i don't necessarily respect you like bro ew um so yes, I just thought that was an ignorant comment and you will see me representing every minority if I can. And if I'm ignorant, y'all call me out, call me, keep me honest. Like, yo, I don't see no books by Muslim authors on your page. You right. Let's do this. Give me some recommendations. Let me do some research. That's how we make a better person. That's how we make the world a better place. Don't get me wrong. Like my sisters are okay i have family from all over the world my family is all mixed just mixed haitian white black um i don't even know all of them it's just, it's just crazy like how much my family is intertwined with so many different races cultures heritage just all over the place and that has definitely created a world i feel like a, a well-rounded understanding of people and respecting people and respecting life and that's all I try to try to get at now I will call myself out I don't have a lot of LGBT books I have some but not as much as I want am I a part of that am I a part of that community not not to say like you have to be a part of community to support it is what i'm trying to get at you don't have to be a part of a community to support it you don't have to be the person who's doing these things it's the fact that you want equality you want people to be loved and receive love just like you do treat people how you want to be treated that's literally the best lesson i've ever got Whew. okay um that's enough of my rants let's get back into my book organizing so um, let me turn my camera around. My camera keeps like overheating and shutting off, so I'm sorry. But this is what we got to put up with. So I've decided to continue my by the color on this case, and then possibly the bookcase over here. 
may just be all of my book sets because I really don't want to break up my sets because they look really nice in their books like their sets so I think I'm gonna leave those like that um also someone said you have all those books but like what does your TBR look like to be honest I have only eight books on my TBR right now so I'm good trust me I'm good um, also look at this Q set. Oh, love it. And I hear it's another book that was added to this. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'll look into that. Um, so yeah, let me do some organizing. Do not look at my mirror. It looks a fool. Um, it's messy. That's what happens when you babysit your nephew. You see my mirrors? Filthy. Just filthy. That's okay. So I'm going to organize all of these by color and and then put the sets over here and we'll see how that goes. Cool.